Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Awaken with Nancy. Today's reading is going to be um, very different from what I normally do. I am going to be channeling messages from spirit to you. I have already pulled the first three cards and this is a past, present, and future energy. These are the um, overall messages or the overall guidance that spirit has for you today. This is going to be general and it's not going to resonate with everyone. My intention is that this is a timeless reading. So if you come upon it um, in six months or in a year and the messages are resonating, then they are meant for you. And if they are not resonating, then don't try to force it. Okay. And for those of you that are new to the channel or just stopping by today, I I am a Scorpio. Um, okay, so very mysterious, very interesting energy coming through, of course, for you, Scorpio. Um, the first card that we got is Caught in the Ruins. And so this is a past energy, but I do feel that this is still with you um, because your guides are bringing this up today. Spirit wants you to know that if you've been in trapped in some difficult situation, it's you don't have to remain a prisoner there, okay? You can move outside of those bars. You don't have to be imprisoned anymore. This could be with a relationship or a connection that you feel very bound to, but it's dragging you down. It could be a job that no longer brings you joy. The money is good, but um, it's not feeding your soul. Or it could be a belief system, a pattern of behavior, anything like that, addictions, anything like that. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. But there is some sort of situation that you are caught up in and spirits is saying it is time to open up the door, release these bars, walk out of this prison. Okay. Interesting. Now, in the present energy, we've got the King of Scrolls. This would be like the King of Wands in the traditional tarot. This is the Akashic Tarot deck, you guys, so it's very different. Um, but this would be the King of Wands. And so this is someone who is either in your life now or could be coming into your life. Okay, it could be a teacher, a mentor, a boss, it could be a love interest. But this man has a lot of information to share with you. Um, the King of Wands is a leader. He is very inspirational. He is fearless. He is very, very confident. So this is someone who's coming into your life or is already in your life. Um, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. Um, what I'm feeling is that if this is a love interest or it could be a new employer, just take what resonates, you guys. Spirit is saying you've got to wrap up this cycle that you've been in. You've got to move through this stuck energy because there's something really inspiring that's going to allow for your future growth. It's going to bring in opportunities. It's it's almost like a dream is about to come true for you, Scorpio, but you've got to get out of this prison. Now, the future energy is um, the six of scrolls. And so it's very interesting because this is right after the king of scrolls. These two are connected. It's all connected. And what spirit wants you to know is that time is of the essence. There's an hourglass here. Time is of the essence. And so it's important to make decisions and take action. And this is a little mysterious. I don't know what this is about. Um, but it's related to this man. 
Um, so it could be a, a love interest that comes into your life. And it doesn't have to be a man, you guys. Just take what resonates. Um, this person could come into your life, um, offer you a job, offer you an opportunity, um, you know, could offer uh, romance to you. And with the sands of time coming through, it's almost like you're dragging your heels. You are reluctant to make a decision. And I believe that it's because you're still caught, you're still trapped in the ruins of your past. So, wow, Scorpio, that's, um, that's pretty intense. Um, so what Spirit wants you to know is there are fresher, more exciting, more inspiring opportunities coming up for you in love, in life, in every way. And so it really is time to move on from the past. And this is something that I really resonate with you guys. I hope that you do too. And of course, as always, I would love to hear your comments. Now I'm pulling from the Keepers of the Light. And this is what your guides are helping you with. So these are obstacles. These are challenges. These are issues that your guides are helping you with. Whether or not you are aware of it, you may not be aware of it. Wow, beautiful. We've got Hilarion, divine healing. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. This is really interesting. So this is a past energy, but I do feel like it is still with, um, with you, Scorpio. Um, so the issue that your guides are helping you with is this deep healing and this is green so it does relate to the heart chakra i do feel like someone still remains in your heart and its spirit is saying it's time to let this go it's time for this healing to occur and you guys it's interesting because last year i did the 2020 readings tw or excuse me 2021 readings and there were two themes that came through karma releasing releasing the past and i do feel like this is a very karmic situation and um heart awakening and this is what i feel this healing is about so this is what your guides are helping you with at this time is this beautiful, deep, divine healing within your heart space. And this is going to be an ongoing thing, this healing. Um, at the more you heal, the less your guides are going to um, need to help you with this. It's, it's almost like um, once you start the process, it's going to be easier and easier for you to heal. But there has been some very, very stuck energy, and this is why Hilarion is coming through. He is an ascended master, you guys, if you're not familiar with who he is. Oh my gosh. In the present, we've got Green Tara, Supreme Protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitations and trust. Okay, Scorpio, the message is very clear. Some of you are having a really difficult time letting go of the past and cutting cords. But this is exactly what you are meant to do. This is what spirit is saying. Your guides, your angels, they are close. They are protecting you. They are assisting you with this healing so that you can cut these cords that keep you bound to the past. They keep you stuck in this prison, in these ruins. This is a very straightforward Scorpio. It was a little mysterious up front, but now it's very, um, you know, at the beginning, but now it's, it's very clear. And in the future, we've got Rada, Soul Flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself, experience relationship, harmony, and healing. Interesting. 
So you guys, um, because it says soul flame, I do feel that some of you are dealing with twin flames. I, others of you are going to be dealing with soul mates. Okay. But this says soul flame. And because it says rediscover a lost part of yourself, this is very much, um, to me, a twin flame card. And this is about experiencing relationship, harmony, and healing. So for some of you, you could be healing things with your twin flame. Um, you could be finding your purpose. Um, part of your journey, um, part of what your guides are assisting you with is um, cutting cords and letting go of any karmic partners, okay? Um, any people in your life that are not at the same level that you're at. Um, these people that you're needing to release are not for your highest and best good. They are only going to drag you down. Um, you know, what I'm really getting from this, you know, that saying about um, if you choose to, uh, this isn't exact, but if you choose to try to save a drowning man, be prepared to drown yourself because that drowning man can pull you down. This is what I'm feeling. And so spirit wants you to know that you are protected. They're working very diligently on this divine healing, cutting these cords, moving these people out of your life. They're sending you signs, um, you know, so there are going to be signs, there are going to be epiphanies, um, there are going to be downloads because there is this really amazing person that is coming into your life. Um, this could be somebody who's returning to your life is what I'm getting. Um, but it's going to be important to make a decision. Um, time is of the essence. Um, wow, pretty incredible. All right, Scorpio, what your guides want you to know... The past energy is trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Wow, beautiful. Um, so there's a message here. This is the past energy. Um, with this divine healing energy coming through in the past, caught in the runes, I am just feeling that some of you have doubted yourselves. You've been in this very disempowered energy. You haven't been trusting your path. You've been questioning it. Um, there's, a, there's a question of worthiness, and this is very spiritual. Um, many of you are probably light workers, and you've been called forth on a path to really spread your light in the world, to become a healer. However that looks to you, maybe not formally, but it's about sharing your light and sharing your message. However, many of you are not have not trusted it. You haven't felt worthy. And so what spirit and your guides are really saying is trust your path. We are supporting you. The world is your oyster. What is it that you want to do? How do you want to spread your light in the world? What message do you have for the collective? How can you help the collective heal and ascend? Um, you know, this is really beautiful. So this is why this divine healing is coming in. It's going to allow you to move out of the ruins and move deeper into your truth, your path. Beautiful. Now, for the present energy, we've got the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. This is what your guides want you to know. And this is right under supreme protection. So there, there is lightning here. This is very dark and ominous, but the, this is the way forward. This is the passage 
this leads to the light. And so I feel that this is somehow connected to this king of scrolls, to this man. Um, this, this person could be your twin flame, your uh, soulmate, your soul flame. Um, it doesn't mean that it has to be romantic. Um, for many of you, yes, it's going to be romantic, but I feel like the path forward has to do with this person. And um, your past is going to be um, obliterated is what I'm feeling. And you guys, we are coming upon the beginning of eclipse season in May. That is about endings and new beginnings. And so I do feel like it's going to be a very, very important time for you to finally cut cords. It is time for a new inspired beginning, something living in such a way that lights you up, that feeds your soul, that brings you fulfillment, um, makes you feel content, like you are um, bettering the world. You're doing something for the collective. Um, this is this is pretty incredible. So if we look at the past energy and the present energy, it's a natural progression, as is the um, you know the line of cards above. This is about trusting your path, knowing you're supported, and then this is you know going through the portal. The present energy going through the portal. You are protected. You are going to find the inspiration when you need it. So trust it and keep moving forward. This is what your guides want you to know. Let's look at the future energy. And you guys, this is the Work Your Light deck. I absolutely love the light this this deck oh my gosh i'm so excited i'm i'm losing my train of thought um the future energy what your guides want you to know i love the way this is coming together yes just say yes and this is under soul flame and the sands of time so i do feel that there is um a decision that you're going to need to make and it's going to be life-changing a life-changing decision is coming up and what your guides are telling you is you're ready. Trust your path. You're ready. Just say yes, Scorpio. Okay, finally, what I want to do is I want to take a look at how you can connect more deeply with your guides. And so again, we're going to look at the past the present and the future and see what spirit has to say today. In the past, we've got epiphany. This is the hermit energy and this says joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. And so I feel that um, in the past, you may have really been doing so much soul searching about your place in the world, your place in, you know, relationship, um, how you can accomplish this healing, how can you get out of these ruins, how you can cut these cords. And a lot, Spirit is saying that the answers is, are always available to you. And that in the past energy, um, you know, if, if the answers weren't coming to you through meditation, you were not paying attention um, because your guides and your angels have always been there with you. Um, providing signs, okay, giving you downloads. And so this is a message to carry into the present time and also into the future. Connecting with your guides is going to feel effortless if you are really grounded, if you're in a meditative state. So 
what what they're saying is that meditation is going to be important for you if you want to connect more deeply okay so that should be added to your daily practices at least a weekly practice journaling is also going to be helpful because you are going to be receiving signs and downloads and it's oftentimes incredibly um, helpful to look back on our journal entries to to see the signs that have come through the revelations that we've had and how that helps us today and sometimes we have um, we we see signs and we don't know what they mean we may have a dream and it, it takes a while to interpret it so write it down and then the answers may come uh, you know, a few days later, a week later. And this is the importance of writing it down, keeping a journal. But being in this meditative state is going to, you know, in this quiet space is going to allow you to decipher the information that's coming through from your guides. And you guys, if you do decide to journal, I would encourage you to put pen to paper and not knock it out on your keyboard because it creates muscle memory. And um, so you will, you will um, retain it much easier. I know everybody loves their electronics and they do have their place in the world. But as far as journaling, I feel that pen to paper is definitely the way to go. Let's look at the current energy. How can you connect with your guides more deeply? We've got the sun. Oh, this is beautiful. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. Wow. Okay. What I'm feeling from this, because this is just below the initiation, this is the rite of passage crossing the threshold. Um, how you can connect with your guides in present moment, and this may sound a little bit ridiculous, but it is through positive thinking. Um, it's really about trusting that the um, information, the messages that you're wanting to send to them, um, you know, when you're setting your intentions, when you're praying, when you're speaking to your guides, that they're receiving that information and that they are going to respond back to you with the answers that you need. That is how you can connect more with your guides is just through positive thinking and belief, okay? And then you're going to start trusting more and more the messages that you're receiving, the signs that you're seeing. Um, you guys, I see repeating numbers all the time. Um, I have a joke with an inside joke with one of my friends. Oh, it's always 1111. And most recently, it's 444. So the repeating numbers are very significant. Um, I'm, I'm no expert, but if you are seeing those, I would encourage you to Google the meanings um, because those are definitely signs from spirit. Now let's look at the future. Oh my gosh. <laughs> incredible so we've got the empress and this is time to act upon your plans creativity is rewarded luxurious or abundant resources and isn't this interesting because just above this card what your guides want you to know is just say yes so for many of you um I do feel that you are moving more and more into this Empress energy. You are truly becoming the Empress. Um, beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, and as you move more and more into this divine feminine, divine um, 
yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. Divine Feminine Empress Energy. It's you are going to have um, like a newfound belief in yourself. Uh, you're going to be feeling very empowered. You are going to look back to see how far you've come. I mean, look at this. We start out with caught in the ruins and we're ending with the Empress. This is amazing. So you truly are rising up to your potential. And as you rise up to your potential, you are going to be rewarded. Um, the universe um, rewards bravery, re you guys. And so by you stepping out of your comfort zone, going through this initiation, trusting your path, and just saying yes, you are becoming the Empress, the Divine Feminine. And this is a signal to your guides that you are serious about this journey and they're going to show up for you more and more actively. It's not that they're not showing up for you now, um, but they're going to be much more active in helping you forward. And for the men that um, are watching my channel, I don't want to leave you out. The Divine Feminine, it is just an energy. It does not have to be a woman. It is an energy. We all have the masculine and feminine energy with, within us. And, you know, the feminine energy is all about allowing and receiving. It's that yin energy. And so it really is about being open to receiving the messages that your guides are sending to you, the signs and signals. So absolutely beautiful reading. Um, Scorpio, I hope that you enjoyed this. I'd love to hear your comments. Thanks for joining me today. And I'm sending you guys lots and lots of love. Bye-bye.